In this video, I will show you how to use the greater than and less than functions on a graphing calculator so that you'll know what to do. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. In this video, we're going to see how to graph greater than and less than on your graphing calculator. Let's start with y equals 2x plus 3 and graph that line. And that's a typical graph. Let's hit the y equals button again. And if you scroll all the way to the left, you'll see that a little slanted bar starts to blink up and down. There's actually six or seven modes you can change that to by hitting the enter button. The first one is the standard line. The next one is a thicker line. So if I hit graph, it's the same graph with a thicker line. That's useful if you have two lines and you want to distinguish between the two of them. Let's graph y equals 0.5x plus 4. You can see one has a thick line, one has a thin line. Go back up, hit enter again, and it's kind of an up arrow to the right. That's actually the greater than function. That's showing us y greater than 2x plus 3 greater than equals. It really doesn't distinguish between the two. You only get one choice. And if we go over and hit enter again, it's kind of down and to the left. This time we're going to get y less than or equal to 2x plus 3. And it shades below the line. If we go over again, it kind of shows a key. And all that does is put a little circle in front of the line as it draws it. And if we go over again and hit enter, we get just a circle. And this time we get the circle with no line as it draws. And if we hit enter again, we get a dotted line. Again, this helps us distinguish if we have two lines that we're trying to draw. And finally, we hit enter and we're back to the standard line. So let's graph these two lines. Y greater than 2x plus 3. We already have 2x plus 3 typed in there. We'll hit enter, enter, and now we're on the greater than equal to function. We'll go down here to y2, enter, enter, enter. Now we're on the less than equal to, and we'll type in negative 0.5x. For the negative 0.5, use the smaller minus sign because it's a leading minus sign. Negative 0.5 x variable sign plus 6 and let's graph these two lines. There's the greater than 2x plus 3 and there's the less than negative 0.5x plus 6 and the shaded area that intersects. This also works for trig functions or for any function. If we wanted to plot y less than or equal to sine x and y greater than or equal to cos x, first let's check to see what mode we're in by hitting the mode button and we're in degrees, third line down. It could be in radians or degrees. Then we'll hit our zoom button and make sure we're in zoom trig, number seven, for trig functions. And now we'll enter our equations, y equals sine x, close parenthesis, and we want less than or equal. So we'll hit two, three times over there. And then we want y greater than or equal to cos x. And we'll come back over to the left, one, two times, and we'll graph those two functions. There's y less than or equal to sine x, and there's y greater than or equal to cos x. So the greater than or equal to will work with any function that you put in. You just have to check your modes and make sure you're in trig for trig functions or in standard for linear functions. And that's how you can plot greater than or equal to, less than or equal to on your graphing calculator.